I love hearing that, don't you, Leland? Uh, yeah, uh, we emphasize all morning long, it would take advantage of it. Exactly, and take advantage of this morning. This is going to be the most breathable morning that we are going to have in the days to follow. I have a feeling we're not going to be getting those compliments in no, the next few days. Oh, yeah, temperature is back up. Yes, yeah, Sunday, Father's Day 98. More of that type heat is on the way for tomorrow and the weekend. We're mid-90s today. Right now, Sky 5 Live, it's all looking good. You can see the rolling metals of the mid state right now. A little patchy fog in a few locations out there for the beginning of our day, but you'll see that mainly in some valley areas and near some of the waterways. Hopkinsville, good morning your way right now. It is is 71 degrees. So here's the trend over the next couple of days. 94 today, 97 tomorrow, 99 for the weekend, 98 on Monday, near record warm. Current record for tomorrow is 100. Current record for Saturday, Sunday, 101. And a current record for Monday, 102 degrees. A muggy meter it inches back up toward that muggy category for us for today and tomorrow. So we're going to be borderline humid to muggy as we go through the next couple of days. Right now, though, not too bad on the humidity front for the beginning of our morning. But for today, back to the 90s, near 100 tomorrow. Still hot with highs near 100 on Saturday and on Sunday. For today, Hendersonville 94. Upper 80s out of Livingston, Sparta, 91 to Oklahoma, Lawrenceburg 92, 93 Lewisburg, Centerville, and Waverly 92. So keep that in mind if you're going to go see the sounds. They're back in action tonight at 635. 6 o'clock, right around 92 degrees as they're wrapping up the game right around the 80 degree mark. High pressure heat dome, not giving just hot weather here, but they were pushing 100 in the northeast yesterday. So that hot weather will continue. Meanwhile, down to our south in the Gulf, our first tropical storm of the season, Alberto, working in New Mexico, but north of that, a tornado watches out for a large part of Texas and flooding along the Texas coast with this system, Nikki D. First one of the season, and goodness, does it have a lot of hot water in the Gulf to work with. Here's a live look. Sky 5 is up and live. What a cool perspective. You can see a little bit of that fog that has developed over some of the farmland out there this morning. And as we've been discussing, there's some patchy fog in some spots, but nothing widespread. But what a cool look to see it from this particular angle. Here's a look as well. This is thanks to my friend Jan over at White House. Look at the reflection last night from her swimming pool. You can see that beautiful sky. We had some clouds that did allow for some coloration, but all that cloud covers moved out and we've got a ton of sunshine that will be moving in as we go throughout the day. You notice Leland showed you by lunch when those upper 80s after lunch, we're back in the 90s. And then as we go overnight tonight, we'll start to have a little bit of cloud cover working through. That's going to hold in today's heat. That's why tomorrow morning, another step up in the way of heat as well as a little bit of humidity. As we go throughout our Friday, though, we're going to see a slight chance for one or two tiny sprinkles. Overall, these models are just indicating that the moisture that you're seeing being picked up is actually moisture that will be in the air, amplifying our temperatures. Rain-wise, our rain chances are just really low. A slight chance on Sunday as well as Monday, but better rain chances will start to work in Tuesday and Wednesday. Regardless, it's not going to break our heat streak. Six to 10 days out, we're still in the same boat. Your seven day forecast, highs today will top out at 94. So remember that cloud cover that's gonna work in at the appropriate time that holds in the heat. That's why temperatures overnight really don't sink as much. By seven o'clock tomorrow, we're already talking 75. 97 scorcher degrees as we make our way into Friday and Saturday right around 99 near record highs. And we're not seeing a lot in the way of movement and wind. So it is pretty stagnant when you step out. And that continues even into Monday, Leland. Uh, yeah, so as we go into next week, we will put in some rain chances by Sunday evening, Monday and Tuesday, but still only at 20, 30% across the area. 96 on Tuesday, 97 on Wednesday.